Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. I wanted to put together this video. I know the retro patcher has been around for a while but there's plenty of new people that are coming over to the channel and some people may not be aware of it. Now since uh, Open FPGA became available on the Analog Pocket not many people actually use dot .pocket files to play their Game Boy and Game Boy Color games but I think there's still a valid reason to play it and that's the screen filters. The screen filters you're seeing now is on my actual uh, cart of Tetris so you can use this on an actual cartridge on a flash cart like an EverDrive or one of the easy Omega ones or whichever flash cart you're using provided it works with the analog pocket now hopefully we'll get a firmware update that will give us these brilliant looking filters or shaders for open FPGA at the moment we don't have them for open FPGA and honestly I don't like playing the Game Boy DMG games via open FPGA or open FPGA and you can see why they just look bland they don't have they don't have that green screen and if uh, if you're a regular on the channel you know I love the Game Boy DMG I can't play it like that it looks horrible to me so let's just have a look at retro patcher let's have a look at the advantages the disadvantages how to patch your games where to place them so stick around and uh, let's get into to this tutorial this is the retro patcher by john abrams what this does is it lets you patch your game boy and game boy color roms to dot pocket files which then gives you access to cool stuff mainly the filters i really like the filters i can't play a game boy dmg game without that green uh, that green screen look and this gives your roms that you can do it on your flash carts you can do that for your um, original cartridges but you can't do it with the open fpga cores at the moment it's still fun using the fp uh, open fpga cores and hopefully we will get the filters the shaders for them sometime in the future hopefully in the next firmware update or at least somewhere down the line so there are uses for this but there are positives and there are negatives uh, so let's have a look at some of the negatives here so here's a, a big shout out to burr from over uh, the fpga gaming discord where i was talking about this yesterday and talking about some other stuff so mbc free um games with that chip in it won't save and i think that's like pokemon crystal and some games from around the era now, uh, era there might be a way uh, to do it using a uh, like a different mbc uh, but i don't know too much about that they're not really the games that i am playing the real-time clock doesn't progress when game is not running okay so that's another downside so you're not going to be able to play all your games on that flash cards and original cartridges and open fpga will present better options in some cases i don't know what this is if you know what it is in the comments let me know but huc free isn't supported and one of the biggest bummers is serial link port doesn't work so you can't play multiplayer games uh, using the dot pocket or the gb studio um, games that we've converted so it kind of limits it so i use them for for example games like tetris turtles uh, gargoyles quest uh, street fighter alpha so there's there's certain games that i play that i'm just going to play by myself that i'm not going to play multiplayer on them it is just me playing them and i want the filters there's no rtc or there's not any of this tech that presents issues with it so it's still a very very good tool to use until we get filters for open fpga cores so let's have a look how to actually use this and honestly it's very very easy now if you head over to this website retro patcher i'll leave a link to it in the description of the video uh, definitely definitely check that out and once you're on there this is the site you're going to be at so you can either select the rom or you know we're lazy here we just want to drag and drop them so i've got a, a selection of games saigo no nindo is ninja spirit which is a game i really like now now people have to have made patches this doesn't convert the games over to dot pocket for you but if people have converted them it patches your rom for you so once we've dragged, dragged that across apply and save and we're going to do a few so let's do teenage mutant ninja turtles fall of the foot clan next okay and let's apply and save and it's very very quick they're all downloading there we can see and of course tetris like you can't do uh, game boy without having tetris and one thing to point out here i'm glad i've done tetris now when i've done tetris this here is the vanilla version of tetris and i recommend you guys check this one out tetris plus rosy retrospection this is 
this is a really good version of Tetris. It's got some of the new features, like a hard drop. You can see a few uh, newer blocks. It's nice. It's got some nice quality of life improvements. So it's really good. If there's, if there's um, a ROM hack available for it that's decent, you might get presented by that. And it's up to you if you want to download it or you don't want to download it. So let's just go back out now. And here you go. These are, these are the four that we've downloaded. Ninja Gaiden, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tetris, the ROM hack. And honestly, try this one out. It's fantastic. And the original version of Tetris. So let's go ahead and do a couple of Game Boy Color games. Rainbow Islands is one of my favorite games. I haven't played it on the Game Boy Color. So I will try this out so let's do that again these are popular games so they're coming up but there might be a game that you try and do and it will say it can't do it it did do it previously for me for street fighter for the game boy dmg but i tried it again and it is actually available now so this is street fighter alpha for the game boy color let's try this and this should be available as well the street fighter i tried to do before street fighter 2 for the game boy dmg it wasn't available but it does get updated not so much now because we've got open fpga now but here are our five games as you can see or well five games but obviously six files here because we have two versions of tetris now you can see that they're all dot pocket now i'm just going to minimize this and here we go here 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 we've got our micro sd card for our analog pocket so let's go over to gb studio and what we want to do is just drag and drop these here copy and paste however you want to do it and that is literally it we can now access these games on our analog pocket with all the beautiful filters so guys, if you've followed all the steps in this tutorial, you can play GB Studio games, the dot .pocket files that you have created using the Retro Patcher website, and it's worth uh, converting them over. Once we get these shaders in the open FPGA side, then well, there's not going to be much point in this, but we don't know when that's going to happen. I remember around a year ago, someone asked analog and analog said soon, but soon is very subjective. Soon could be in an hour, in a year in five years we don't know when we're going to get when we are when we are going to get them soon is just a word so enjoy these uh, like uh, like they are now with uh, the the shaders the different colors they look really really good i have to play game boy dmg games with a green screen i don't mind the red screen for some games but i have to have that so definitely do it this way know what the limitations are so you haven't got like rtc uh, it doesn't work on like some uh some chip types of certain games but all the games i'm showing you here they run fine on there you haven't got link cable uh, functionality so just remember these are the games that you're going to play by yourself only with yourself no link cable no crazy saves there's other options for that but that's really it guys um i hope you liked this video you enjoyed it this oh this final game here by the way this is a tetris hack i was talking about it's really nice you can do like the hard drop here you can see what's next you can hold it you've got the shadow pieces it's fantastic but that's really it guys i hope you uh, enjoyed this video if you did then a subscription and a like all that good stuff is super appreciated let me know what other analog um, pocket kind of content you want to see and i'll see you guys around in the next video this is pixel cherry ninja out